Today I'm here to talk to you about Honda's brand new 2013 CRF450R. This bike gets a host of changes and I want to talk to you about it. The overall goal and design concept was to create the most maneuverable bike in class with all new styling and an updated engine that focuses on low to mid-range torque without sacrificing top end power. What we did is we took a bike that was you know, already the lightest in its class and we improved upon it by centralizing the mass, bringing the weight of that bike in closer to the center. The all new frame has a few key design areas that are pretty clear when you look at the bike. If you look at the front head tube section, you can see it's significantly lower. And it also intersects where the rear shock mount is, 14 and a half millimeters lower in the chassis, all working together to lower that center of gravity. Let's talk about this new front fork. This is KYB's all new air front fork suspension that reduces two pounds weight off the front of this bike. One of the ways it does that is by replacing a conventional steel spring with air. In doing that, you don't have that weight change as the suspension is going in and out of the stroke. You only have the air as a spring, so the fork area and the unsprung mass is actually lighter. The tire is going to react much quicker to bumps. It's going to handle better. Traction is going to be improved, and the rider is going to have an overall lightweight feel of the bars when he turns. Another key is that tunability. Before, if you had a heavier rider or the track was had a lot of downhills, got real rough, you'd want to put in a little bit heavier spring. Now what you do is just put a little bit more air pressure in the front fork, and it's going to make the bike react better to the changes in track. Next, let's take a look at the swing arm. As you can see, it's got a nice contour to it, and what they've done is increase the cross-sectional area of it, which improves the balance and rigidity of it overall, and allows the rear end to have more traction when coming out of corners and getting on the throttle. So what you're able to do is tune the flex characteristics of both the chassis and the swing arm so they work together and give a bike that handles well. It's more maneuverable, it's easier to change directions, much more planted, and it's got improved traction both front and rear. In the rear of the bike, the twin pipe system, you're able to use two smaller mufflers that can tuck in from the rear of the bike closer to the center, centralizing the mass and lowering the center of gravity. It also helps to give better low and mid-range torque without sacrificing top end power. The Unicam architecture has been a great design. We've had a lot of success with it. We're able to build upon that for 2013. Some of the changes we made are a 12 and a half to one piston. Gives it a little bit more hit right off the bottom. The piston has a new shot peen molly coating on the outside, which decreases friction. We've also increased the valve sizes in the exhaust from 30 to 31 millimeter. That working along with the twin exhaust is able to let the bike flow a little bit more air through and make more power. Additionally, it gets an all-new six-spring clutch design versus the four-spring clutch on last year's model. The six-spring clutch is going to have a little bit more clamping force. It's going to be a little bit more durable. It's going to stay steady and true throughout the moto. When you first look at the bike, you can see that the bodywork is all new. It's got a bold new design styling theme. We wanted to keep our friendly ride position, but what we wanted to improve is how the rider can move around this bodywork. So they've smoothed some of the areas from front to back, to allow the rider to move without being caught up on boots or any of the hardware. We've seen an emergence of a new style of riding over the last few years. It's all about scrubbing and whipping. And this bike is aimed at that rider. In fact, we've developed our bike to help that rider whip as far as he can and scrub as much as he can off the jumps to keep the bike low. It's extremely maneuverable. It's the lightest in class. It's got excellent power. And it's just an all-around package that puts the power to the ground, creates a lot of confidence in the rider, and it's going to take our riders to the top of the podium.